Hello and welcome back to New Year New Game. This is the game 41, Slime Rancher. Slime Rancher is an adorable little farm kind of game where you catch these little cutesy little slimes. They don't quite have the same appeal as say the slime from Dragon Quest, but they've got their own little cuteness to them. Uh, I myself played for an hour already and found myself just wanting to gather a whole bunch of slimes and put them onto a pin. That was a terrible idea. My ranch immediately was overrun with all these different slimes, and what I didn't realize is that they will eat each other's plots. Which is kind of these things that they poop out when you feed them. And then they kind of like mix breed, so certain slimes have different colors and different like things on them like spikes and if you get one that doesn't have spikes to eat it it starts to grow spikes and will spin around and, and do things just like the spiky ones will do and they they hurt they will hurt you you do have health in this game you can die you can die from slimes and not in the fun way that anime has brought us to think well you know anime adjacent you know what i'm talking about Anyways, uh, I did also find that if you continue to crossbreed them and have them eat a bunch of plots, uh, they transform into these terrible monsters called Tars, which will hurt you and attack you and then go specifically after you. So uh, I took that and you, you can just fling it. I just flung it away. I got rid of it. It, uh, yeah, there... Within that hour, it seemed like it just kind of flew by, just because there was just so much going on. Oh, it was okay. It was pretty good. You might enjoy it. You might like it. I, I don't know. I don't know what your tastes are. I don't even know if there's anyone watching. Are you watching? Are you still there? This is this 41. Episode 41 right now. Did you hang in there? There's still so many to go. 365 is how many I'm planning. Hello? Hello. No, I'm kidding. Anyways, thank you all for tuning in and enjoy Slime Rancher. All right, Slime Rancher. Let's do this. New game. Game one sounds like a perfect name. Let's do this one. Adventure. We could do another casual run. Uh, live the life of a slime rancher and explore the wonders of the far, far range at your own pace. A relaxed take on adventure mode without any threat of tar slimes. Or rush a race against the clock to earn as many new bucks as possible. Just do a venture. Never played slime rancher. I saw the cute little slime faces and went, oh, this would be perfect to play in February. February is just supposed to be a cute month. Thousand light years away from Earth, on a planet known as the Far, Far Range, Beatrix LeBeau begins her first day as a slime rancher. Let's get moving. We move, we move, we move. Look at the slimes right here. There we go, hop, and sprint. Oh man, this sensitivity needs a little work. Back with L2. Doom, we got a pink slime. Back things up, store them in the back. Hey, hey, come here, you. Yeah. Slimes with the key to your success, shoot slimes through the coral barrier to unlock the coral on the ranch. Corral, not a coral. Corral. I know words. Start my hour. And then we shoot. Aha! Was that it? Tasty food acquire. Foods like fruits, veggies, or chickens are used to feed slimes. Try shooting it at a pink slime. It'll eat anything. Well, this is your fate, buddy. Oh, oh, it got bigger. And made whatever this is. Is it making another slime? It's a pink plort. You acquired a slime port. When slimes eat, they make plorts. 
Head on over to the plort market to cash in your plort. It's plort. Ow, ow. I heard it. Uh, I heard those things, uh, plort. The plort market gives you new bucks for your hard earned points. Shoot the plort into the plort market and earn some cash. Alright, here we go. 13 coins. Can we do anything with these? You've learned the fundamentals, now it's time to get out there and explore. Remember, the best way to becoming a pro rancher is to experiment. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Alright, let's go. Where do I go? There is mail. That's a flashlight. Let's meet X. What's this do? Plort market. Uh, do you do something? Guess not. It shows that I have mail, but I do not see where I can select. Hmm. Nope. Tutorial, slime, three sources, ranch world. Good old ranch world. Go inside. Star mail. Here it is. Welcome to the far, far range from. The 7Z Corporation. Miss LeBou. LeBou. The 7Z Corporation would like to welcome you to the far, far range. Welcome. And extend our support in your bold new venture. As a slime rancher. Support extended. Hey, we received it. I extended it my way. We would also like to request that your exercise caution in your first few days on the range until you get more familiar with your surroundings. Traveling at night is not advisable. Lastly, should you require any additional tools for your backpack or items to make your slime ranching experience easier, the 7Z Corporation would be pleased to provide them to you from the shop located just outside your ranch house. The 7Z Corporation providing the tools you need to get the job done. For us, for a small fee. Hey, I'm doing something for you. You're going to charge me for it, I see. Well! Some carrots to feed some of these little pink slimy guys. Uh, wait, can we activate this? Yes, we can. We got star mail from Cassie. I ain't trying to go talk to Cassie. Not after what she did last time, and she knows what she did. Come here, you. Thirteen coins. You say we just adventure forth. We can't go that way. All right. Uh, how about we adventure forth in this direction? Dry reef, coral crusted ocean floor that now basks under a golden sun. Look at all these pink slimes. Go fruit. Pink slime diet, everything. Come on. Just sucking them all up. Woo. Come here. There we go. That's the max we can get. Head back. 
we will just deposit these slimes. slimes themselves. Don't want to do that. Achievement a lot catch. Chicken or two running about. Try my best not to pick up the slimes. Hard to do. They are all types of in the way. That's right, we can't pick up any more plurps. We must sell our plurps. There we go. What am I supposed to purchase? I have no idea. Well, let's go see what Cassie has to say. Cassie, rise and shine. Hi, bae. What's it like to sleep for a whole year? Did you dream? I can't imagine what that's like. 7Z puts you in a pod and then lights out for all that time. Wow. What's the far, far range like? Have you started exploring? Is the air as clear as they say? I bet it's really beautiful. I'm probably asking too many questions. I bet you have a lot of work to do on that ranch. I still can't believe it's yours now. Uh, oh, wrong one. Uh, I guess I better leave you to it and just keep it short. Good luck, Bay. If anyone can make it out there, it's you, Cassie, the Oso oh supportive friend. Give me your plops. Give me your plops. Alright. They did say it was dangerous to be out at night. <laughs> well, look, we don't have to go far. What's the H? Hello, Beatrix! The name's Hobson Twilligers, rancher explorer, and the former owner of this here ranch you now call your own. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I was a rancher for more years than I can remember, and felt there was one last adventure left in me, so I've set off to find just that. But before I go, I'm taking one last tour around this here land I love. So keep your peepers peeled for notes like these, if you want to hear what an old coot has to say every now and again. Be talking to ya, H. You know, I don't care what an old coot has to say. How's that? All that time just wasted. Because you thought I was a Karen type. Come here, you. Woo. These things die to everything. Technically, they could eat us. 
Why they haven't yet, I don't know. Oh, that's just pink slime. Thought it was a plort. baby chick. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave that there. And these things just randomly start to reappear. What forms them? Where do they come from? Alright. Since they said the night is dangerous and I don't want to get caught out there. We're just gonna come back here. Well, we got some people escaping. We got escapees. He's gonna eat it. They're gonna eat it. Go for it. Eat it. There he goes. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, that little corral thing is gonna get like overflown. Activate sleep until morning. Return to the ranch. Now we're only getting ten for it. See if we can't go find some more slimes in other areas, like over here. What are you? The lab allows you to begin your career as an amateur, unlicensed slime scientist. We don't have enough to do that. So that's why they are all blocked off, because that type of content costs extra. The Grotto, a dark and gloomy cavern about the sea in the likely first chapter to the novel of yours. Alright. So at least we know we have a mission. Something to work towards. Uh, water tank, jetpack, heart module, power core, tank booster. Cool. Range exchange offline. Or ranch exchange offline. Thought I silenced that. Beep. The overgrowth, the ranch's very own wild side. 1700. <clears throat> we have escapees, they're going for the chickens. So that's what it is. They're just all working together to go get chicken. Here come a bunch more. I'm gonna ignore them. Chickens, look out! They eat the baby chickens. Oh, uh, did you want that? There you go. Yeah, it looks like they ignore the baby chickens. Look at the size of that one over there. There's a big slime. Hey, here's some spiky ones. Thank you. 
Oh my Largo. Largo seems large slimy hybrids form when slime eats. A plort unlike its own. Back to keep them oh, nozzle, shoot to send them flying. Hurt me. Those guys just bounce off, so I can't pick them up. Whoa. Hey, there's a cat there. Can't pick you up either? Weird. Can I pick anything? Oh, because my whole... That would make sense. Get over here, Tabby Slime. <laughs> what do you think you're doing, huh? Get out of here. Out of here. <laughs> Just launching them. Goodbye. Boom. Those. Ow. Do not want to fire those. I want to keep those. Alright. Let's go take these rocky ports. Let's see about feeding them to our slimes. Away! As a oh hey garden, a coop, a silo, an incinerator, a pond. <sighs> Make another corral where we keep tabby slime, and then I'm gonna feed tabby slime. Carrot. I said I'm gonna feed you a carrot. They're all going for the carrot. Boom, and now he becomes a Largo. Whoa, still gonna roll one attack though, huh? Come here, you. You stay in here. Actually. out both. I just can't keep them under control. 
I'm overrun. Where are you, Pink Tabby, now? Pink Tabby Largo. What is that? Oh. It's a weird tar creature. The tar! Ah! It bit me. Can't keep them in a corral. So much for that, huh? Can't sell one of you. Got mail. Star mail. Thor West. Welcome to the range exchange. Hi there, Beatrix. The name's Thor West. I'll keep my introduction short on account that we all got work to do. I'm a longtime rancher here at the far, far range and head of the welcome wagon for your local range exchange. The Range Exchange is a network of ranchers just like yourself who are looking to trade what they got for what they need. Slimes, plorts, food, whatever. All you need to do is check out the Range Exchange machine daily and be sure to get your trade completed within 24 hours. Oops, wrong way. Uh, as more ranchers get added to your network, you should receive a hearty hello from them, so check your inbox. Well, enough, John. We both got slimes to wrangle. I wonder if that tar one is still there. Thor West, help me out here and I'll make sure to get what's owed. So you want me to give you five chickens, eight blue boos, and whatever those little square fruits are. All right, then. Uh, let's go get some blues. See if I can't pick up some chickens, too. I don't know what happened to the tar. Shot it over the top there. The fruit is still growing. No, darn it. Come here, you. Take your hand, hand. These are not the fruit we're looking for. Have at it. See if I can wrangle up some blue guys. Yeah, rock slide.
probably what I gotta have a water tank for. Don't see any other blues around. There's one. Hey, come here. All right. Take that. It is now nighttime, so let's get back. Look at you. It's pretty cool looking. Got two of these guys. Build a farm, a garden, uh, shoot a fruit or veggie in the dispenser to begin growing more of that type. Nice. Alright, so we're gonna have to pick that up at some point. Slimes! Slimes everywhere! Picked up too many pink slimes. Sleep until morning. I think it's time to get rid of some of these pink slimes. Uh, <clears throat> I think four is, four is good enough. Bring these guys all back to the wild. Just far too many of them. Yeah, don't need a pogo fruit. I mean, whatever the square fruit is. And then... And then... Take that pink plort and that other pink plort and carrot. Another fruit here, like square fruit somewhere. See a hen, hen. I'll take you. And I'll take you. Uh, let's see. Don't see. I mean, I could try taking that fruit, see if it helps. Oh, actually, we don't have any space for things. Alright, let's leave. Getting beat up. Still a massive, just pink slime over there. Alright. So for now, all we have are carrots. I'm gonna make a carrot garden. Let me just get rid of all these. 
Just actually put you guys in there. It's done. Come back in your corral. Away with you. Come here. Stay in there. I just need one. I really don't need that many. Come here. Away! I wonder what happens. He's gonna come right back down, isn't he? Yep. If I just use like one corral. Or shoot him off the edge over here back behind this tree into the ocean. Ah, no. Like I honestly don't need this many corrals now that I'm thinking about it. Into the ocean with all of you. Victor Humphreys messaged me. Or has something to do with uh, shooting all those different uh, slimes into the ocean. What do you want, Victor? Allow me to introduce myself. I am Victor Humphreys, professional slime rancher, slime scientist, and amateur musician. My understanding is that Miss West has already informed you of how the range exchange works, so I will spare you any further education. Instead, I'll, oops, illuminate you on what you can expect from my own requests. As a slime scientist rancher, I have a tremendous interest in the liquid form legion that we share this vast range with, the slimes. My studies often keep me from venturing out on the range daily, and when I find myself short of a particular species, I use the range exchange to fill that gap. Don't worry though, I will reimburse you handsomely for your efforts. Good luck in your new venture, Miss LeBeau. I look forward to seeing life breathed, breathed once again into the former Twillager's Ranch. Sincerely, Victor Humphreys. P.S. I once lost my favorite fiddle while feeling a feral boom slime. Its value is only stimulated, but should you find it, I'd very much love to be able to play it again. I'm gonna keep it for myself. How about that, Victor? Okay. 
Come here. Away! Pretty sure that knocked him off. Yes, yes it did. Alright. Demolish. It costs to demolish them. With me. You with me. Alright, so we have 24 hours to do things. Victor Humphrey! Impossible, please acquire the following for a future study. My thanks. You want three pink slimes, I will give you three pink slimes. All yours. Those guys only come out night, and uh, the cats are in the back. So let's go get some cats. And lose some more pink slimes. Boo, 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 boo. I forgot to sell my plorts. Let's go sell those plorts. Choo. For such a fast runner, that was a very slow, slow move. Uh, I want a coop away from the slimes. How much will a coop cost? Coop. Preventing the uprising of the chickens. Alright, hen hens. Pretty sure they're alive. Let's go. Find ourselves some cat slimes. Since those things can provide me both pink and blue plorts, I don't feel the need to really hold on to the other ones. Especially pink ones. I don't think pinks really need, uh... Hmm. Oh, let's get that too. Cooberry. That's something we should be farming, some cute berries. Speed activates. It's a map. Alright. Uh, where did the little kitty get go to? Anyone seen the cat? Any cat around? No. Alright. Uh, activate. This entire cave system was sealed off from a cave-in when I first discovered it. Maybe that's why the fellas up ahead are so grumpy. Haven't had a bite in a long time. In any case, don't let that long-awaited bite come from your own rump. Bring some food to calm them down. Uh, we can get some food up here. Get out of the way. Mixture of the red and glow guys, but I need just the glow guys, is the thing. At least we now know what's over there. Let us see. 
What's through here? Got star mail from Cassie. Looks like minerals. Materials. Here we go, this is where the cats are. Blue rocky tabbies. Tabby slimes. What do you say? I had a great big tree like this here, one along the edge of my property back on Earth. It had been there before anyone could remember. It survived all kinds of change around it, and then one day I began to notice it was dying. It wasn't anything unnatural. It was just its time, I suppose. And then I realized that if I didn't do something, I'd end up like that tree. I spend my whole life in the same place. I wasn't going to let that happen. So I bought a ticket for the far, far range the very next day. Alright. That's a good good little story there, buddy. Uh, hey, here's some of those cute berries. That one ain't my cute berry. Moving on, moving on. It's about to be nighttime soon, too, and we will be having... Those firefly looking slimes start to come out, so I'm gonna go grab some of those. Yeah, those guys there. Uh, let's just split all the pink lords out. And I'll take. There we go. Philosopher slime. Uh, don't see any more. Actually, there was a bunch. Is there any more around here somewhere? No. All right. Well, let's see. How many did you need? Six? Give you five tabbies. And I'm gonna put the rest of the tabbies in here. Don't jump out. Get down. And we're gonna put our hen hens over here. Alright, let's go see if I can find some more of those philosopher slimes. I know they said it was dangerous to go out at night, but I haven't seen any danger, so. I'm gonna continue to go out at night. Phosphorus slimes, phosphorus slimes. Anywhere over here, a phosphorus slime. Yes. No! We weren't supposed to get big and explodey. Ah. Let's try it back here. Anything back here? Just another tabby.
Hmm. There's more. Boom. I think that's the six that we need. Let's go. Too bad there's not like a storage somewhere. Yeah. Stony Hen has a rock solid conviction in chicken stuff. You broke the rules. You get the boot. Sell this rock floor. See, the phosphorus ones sell for a lot more. Gray ones sell for 19, which are still more than the rock floors. Bound to be just one slime in there. Your soil sprinkle. Let's remove the crop. It only costs 10. And let's go ahead and grow some cube berries. Those carrots are very easy to find. Here. You want to eat them? Eat them. Do you not eat the carrots? Then why are you out if you don't eat the carrots? I eat the carrots! Do you eat cute berries? Do you eat anything? I don't know when I'm supposed to feed them. Alright, let's go inside. And star mill. My pet cactus, Cassie. Hi, Bay. I bought a cactus from you, sort of. When I came back home, it was one of the only things I left in your shop. It was a lonely little guy, so I decided to adopt it. You know, I kill every plant I touch, but I promise you, this one will last. I mean, if I can't keep a cactus alive, then clearly, something is really wrong, and that's why you're single and alone. Uh, when I look at it, I think of you out there on the range, doing your thing. Hope you're okay. Thank you. Sleep until morning. Alright, I can't have these people just floating around here. Ends. Make more hens. Is that what you eat? That's what you eat. Here, I will give you hints. Just 
stay in your pen. What did I just say? You said stay in. I'm gonna have to get high walls here too. These guys are all probably hungry. Eat, eat, eat. There you go. Nothing there yet. Well, let's go sell the things. Can I sell food? I think it's just all plorts. I can only sell plorts. Uh, not really sure what to do with a stone hen. Can I mix them? Will a stone hen mix okay with regular hens? Oh, no you don't. High walls. Purchase. Oh, I don't have enough. That one hungry. Then I will feed you a hen if you're hungry. Boop. I don't have a high wall. Boop, 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 boop. That's gonna change. High walls. Alright. I do not need you getting into the chicken coop and eating my chickens. Let's get over here. Oh, no, you don't. You abomination of the silly kind. Get in there. Great. Let's go sell these pink florps. And I should be getting some type of call in for whatever special reason. Plort peddler achievement unlocked. What do you do? Plort market. Just explains. Come on, anyone? Range exchange offline. Uh, what's this? So these are all the different things. A water tank has a specialized vac tank that allows you to store fresh water. That's cool. Alright, so I kind of get what all this is supposed to be. I need to go collect more ports. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go out to the wild to do that. Because there just so happens to be like a ton of ports out here. Usually a ton of ports. Seems like the big money plorts are from the rare ones in the back. But we might as well grab 20 of these anyways, right? There we go. 20 pink plorts. 
We also need some blue ones. Thinking maybe about taking some rock slimes back with me. Uh, let's see. Hoping to find some more rock slimes. Uh, we got some mail from Ogden Ortiz. run on back home, check our mail. So that's gonna be the next, like, mission thing that they want us to do. Oh, no. Two minutes left. Yup. Alright. In, 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 in. And we go. Alright. And then watch, it's gonna ask for a bunch of plorts. Ogden. Ah, working on a new recipe. Help me out. Uh, looks like you need apple. I don't know that fruit at all. I know the cube berries and the carrots, but that one's a new one. Uh, hungry kits. Yep, let's go ahead and drop you off here. Are you guys even making anything new? I don't feel like you are. Eat the Q berry. Do you eat Q berries? No? Maybe you're just not hungry. Alright. Get carrots? Sure, I can do that. I don't know where to get those other things. Alright, well, that's been an hour of Slime Rancher. There's definitely, like, they don't really tell you a whole lot of what to do in the very beginning. Starmail's gonna be Ogden, isn't it? Yep. Hiya, Beatrix. That's fun. They do have these cute little slime creatures, but they don't really explain about, like, the feeding them plots for them to turn into other things. How you should have your fences high. The fact that they can get out when you just start from like this bottom one and they're just jumping right over it, it's not okay. That it should be explained maybe keeping like one or two in the pins or like the significance of the pins. Um yeah, and the the hens here. I don't know what's going on with these guys. Do you eat food? No, you just are food. Like, I would hope that they would get bread or something. It's 
spring grasses attract scudder bugs the chickens just love to eat with the bellies full hens will produce eggs twice as fast they produce eggs uh poultry tech base the chickens invite arrays allowing them to grow into healthy hens and roosters twice as fast i am not noticing any different like increases or anything with these guys so like, there's no eggs here Maybe there's a time limit to it. I'm not really sure. But yeah, that, uh... That's that, I guess. That is Slime Rancher. That has been a, an hour of Slime Rancher. Me, personally, I, I don't see myself coming back to play the game. It's not really... my kind of game. I'm sure it's got a, a following out there. People who like it. I'm just not one of those people. Or maybe you had to play more than an hour. Which, honestly, I think you should. At least play more than an hour of a game. To tell if you're really going to like it or not. Some games will get you right in the hour. Other games, it's kind of like, eh. But you never know. You play it longer, it might grow into being your favorite game. I wasn't too big a fan on H1... Not H1Z1, what's that? Day Z. When that was, I played that for about an hour or two and was just like, I don't like this game at all. And then as I played longer and kind of learned the mechanics and ways of going about and growing, it became a really enjoyable game at some point. So, maybe Slime Rancher's the same. Can't say like, oh, it's a terrible game. I wouldn't ever call a game a terrible game. There is a game out there for everyone. I play games that some people don't like that aren't that popular. I understand. Anyways, that's going to do it for me for New Year, New Game. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next game. Goodbye.